Hey, Sea Walkers, it's so great to see you guys again. We have another awesome word from Pastor Deanna today. So y'all get ready, buckle up, get excited. It's going to be great. Because, because, you know, that's a really good question. Mm. I just had an epiphany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? There's a lot of tiles here. There are. I've wondered and how many there are, but I don't have the time to. I uh, I thought it would be a really important thing to know how many there were. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to start counting. Well, when you get the full number, let me know, because I have been curious. Okay. I have been curious. I'm at 16. Are you counting the full one, the half ones over there as like halves or whole ones? Uh, you know, I'll decide when I get to it. Okay. Um, okay. You know, I'm at 16 right now. Cool. Doing my little space at a time. Uh -huh. um, but I think I'm just going to keep going this way, keep counting. Are you going to count those ones back there? Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Well, listen, we already got those counted. Oh, okay, great, we, we're doing great. it in sections. Cool. I started the info cool. desk for the second section. Uh, um, that you makes know, sense. that makes sense. Big brain, you know, got okay. got a system. Okay. All right, well, uh, you have a good day now. Bye. Bye bye. 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, um, excuse me, hmm. uh, Look. you're covering a bird. I'm, yeah, I'm counting the birds. How hard you count? What, what are you, you're counting the birds? The birds. Hold on, that was eight. Birds. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that's eight. What about uh, the other animals? Well, see, you know, the birds, they intrigue me because they're weird little creatures. Oh. And there's a lot of birds in the Amazon, so I was trying to make sure that they got all of them in this jungle here, um, you know, all accounted for. Uh, so I started, I'm on number eight, but I just started and there's the whole like room, all the art, everything. Makes sense. I was standing in front of that yeah, one. you're standing, uh, I, I believe this is a parakeet. Oh, cool. um, But nice. you know, I'm not too sure. <laughs> we'll find out when we're done. But uh, if uh, you don't mind, I'm gonna get back to my bird counting. All right, well, cool. um, Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, really cool. yeah. Tell me how many, I'm I'll, I'll let you know the amount of birds in this jungle. Cool, thanks. Bye-bye now. Mm, nine. 10, 363, 364, and whoa, 365. I did not know that it was 365. That's such a big number. Like, whoa, like that is so awesome that it's 365. Okay, so 300, Mr. Noah just said 365. What do you think that he was counting? Though, because he counted tall, he counted some birds. What do you think that he was counting that was 365? What did you pick? Are you ready for the answer? Do you think you know? Let's, let's check it out. Whoa, 360, like, 365 is such a huge number, and I didn't know it said to not be afraid 365 times in the Bible. Like, that just shows that we shouldn't be afraid. There's so many, like, th literally 365 times that it tells us not to be afraid and that God is there and God helps us and He, and he strengthens us. That is so awesome. Okay, so did you get it right? 300, is that not amazing? 365 times that the Lord in his word told us to not be afraid. Whether it was fear not or don't be afraid, don't worry, don't be, it talks about fear 365 times. I mean, that is a lot. I mean, you know, if the Lord is talking about it that much, that's pretty important. And you know, do you know how many days, how many days are in a week? Okay, how many days are in a month? 30, or 31, or 29. <laughs> how many days are in a year? 300 in a year, like if you had a calendar, and you add it, if you, if you like to count things like Mr. Noah, and you started counting. I got my husband's football. I love Alabama too though. But I mean, and you just started counting. It's 365 days in a year. So I mean, that's like, that's kind of like the Lord saying, okay, every day, every day, I'm gonna remind you, don't be afraid. Don't be, because you know, every day, we have opportunity to be afraid. Every day there's things, because you know, remember last week we started talking about how, like David, the Psalm was telling us in Psalms 23 about the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. And then it talks about that he said, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. And we talked about how like different things can feel like, can be evil to us. I mean, evil is like, when something is trying to harm you, or you believe it wants to harm you, that 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 can be evil to you. I mean, like for some people, the dark can feel evil to them. 
you know, even though maybe there's nothing there to harm them, but it, they feel like it wants to harm them. Like there's something in the dark that can harm me, you know, or like riding a roller coaster, you know, so different things like everybody's different, you know, some people might be afraid of storms and other people are like, oh, I love the sound of storms, you know, everybody's different, but everybody pretty much every day probably has fear thoughts that try to come. Maybe about afraid of going to school, afraid of, I don't know. It's like, we could have like a huge list of stuff that you could be afraid of, the dark, uh, scary movies, I don't know, sickness, people are afraid of to die, people be afraid of uh, getting sick. I mean, there's like tons of stuff, but you know what David said? He's like, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. And the Lord, I mean, like all through the Bible, he goes like to different people and he tells them, don't be afraid. That's how it's in there 365 times over and over. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry. I, and you know, and I love how David's like, do you remember when he talked about this? How he was like, this is the reason why I'm not afraid because you're with me. Not because I can outrun a bear, I can outrun a lion, man, I'm skilled with my slingshot. No, it wasn't about that at all. He was like, this is the reason. It's because you are with me. You're with me. And you know, you know, there's somebody else in the Bible that did some counting. You know how like Mr. Noah was counting the birds and he was counting the tile and like counted out 365. There's somebody in the Bible that was counting and I'm gonna give you a hint. It was a king and it was a king that did something bad. He ended up being, he ended up being a good king in the end, but at this time he was a bad king. Can you get it from that? Is that enough clues? Okay, let me give you a little bit more clues. There was three guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Do you know what I'm talking about now? <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar. The Bible says that he counted. He was doing some counting. You know, they, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had an opportunity to really be afraid because their life was at stake. You know, this was like a real life and death situation for them because King Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to worship. He wanted not only them, but he wanted the whole land to worship this image that he had put up. And at a certain time, every day, 300 CC5, <laughs> but every day, they were, everybody, not just Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but everybody was supposed to stop and worship this image. And you know what? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was like, no, we only worship God, the one true God, and that's it. We're not worshiping anybody else, anything else. And you know, that made the king so mad because some people got him really stirred up about it, you know. And he threw, you remember what happened? He threw him into this fiery furnace that was just so hot. I mean, he was like, I mean, this was the punishment. If you did not worship, this was the punishment that you'd be thrown in the fire. Now, that, you know, most people would be like, you can be afraid of that. That is something to be afraid of. And you know, you can bow down and go ahead and then just tell the Lord, I'm sorry, I was just afraid, you know. But you know what? They were like, they would not give in to fear. And they were like, we won't do it. We won't do it. You know, we know God. Because they, they knew about what God had said you know, in his word. And you know what? 
they got thrown in the furnace, the king went like, well, you know, y'all are so brave. And you know, I just really admire how brave y'all are. So it's okay. It's okay that you don't. No, he got so mad. He was like, I want it seven times harder. I don't, I mean, what it was at before was hot enough to kill people. But he was like, uh, I, I want it. I want it bad. He was so mad. And you know what? It was so hot that the people that were taking Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire were just going to like get him close to the fire. They ended up dying because it was that hot. But you know what? Shadrach, they, they got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They, they threw them off into the furnace. And you know what? The king was sitting there watching. I mean, anyway, that's very, that's a bad king. He's sitting there watching. But the Bible says all of a sudden he jumps up. And he's like, wait a minute. Was there not three that we put in there? I mean, he like counted. He's like, okay, shut up, me shut up, and go. And he's like, there is four people in there. We only put three in. I mean, he did. Can you picture him? He's like sitting, sitting. I don't know. I would think it's like some kind of throne. You know, he's sitting on this throne, you know, watching. And then all of a sudden he's like, he can see their figures. You know what I mean? And like, and then he's like, what? Wait a minute. And he's like, one, two, three, four. And he starts counting and he's like, Cause I mean, it was in his mind who they were, who it was he put in the fire. Cause he was so mad. He knew it was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He probably had their image, his, their face, like just memorized. And so then when he sees there's four, he was doing some counting. He's like, oh my goodness. And so he was like, get them out, get them out. And you know what? It was just like David had said. He said, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. See, God, in that, God showed that he was with them. You know, I am really, because the Bible doesn't say this, but I am really curious if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego saw that forth, or if God only opened the king's eyes and caused him to see. See, they knew that God was with them. They believed. I mean, that was how they were able to not be afraid and stand up to the king and all of his guards and all of his men and do the right thing. That's how they were able to not be afraid because they knew God was with them because they were obeying. <laughs> you know, they were like, they were obeying what God was asking and they trusted what he said. And you know, I'm just like, so I really wonder like if they saw or if only the king, God caused the king to see, God caused the king to see that he was with them, that he was there in the midst of that fire with them just like he promises, not just David, not just Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but all of us, that promise. That's why it's in the Bible, is because it's a promise to all of us that 365 times he's like getting across, guys, I don't want you afraid. You don't ever have to be afraid. I mean, like in that situation, fire was evil. You know, because they turned it into evil. These evil men were turning the fire into a harmful thing. It was meant to harm them. But even in that, they didn't have to be afraid because he was with them and he showed it. He even caused the king to see that he was with them. And man, it totally changed the king. It totally... The king was like, your God is real. He is the one true God. And you know what? We don't have to be afraid. 
Hey, and you know what? Fear is still gonna try to come. You still might have times where you feel it. Like, I mean, you know, maybe like you don't feel good at your stomach. You ever notice how like fear can try to make you not feel good at your stomach? Or you might feel shaky or whatever. Or you might be like, I just can't. But you know what? If you start reminding yourself that I don't have to be afraid because God is with me. You know what? He's there and you don't have to be afraid. You can trust that he's with you all the time. He loves you and his promise every single day, every, cause he knew that we would have 365 days in a year. I mean, he is so smart. Cause you, I mean, he knew we would have it. One day he knew there's going to be a calendar that's going to have 365 days in a year. And he's like, and I want them to know that I don't, not one day, I don't want them to have one day of fear. I don't want them to have one day that they're afraid. He wants you to know he's with you every single day, no matter what it is. That, I love it. I love it. Well, Father, I just worship you. I worship you and I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for showing us your heart, how much you love us, that you never, not even one time do you want us to be afraid. Not even one day do you want us to be afraid. And I thank you for that. Thank you for loving us that much. That you wanted us to see it. That I just believe you do these things on purpose just to make a point to us that there's no coincidence that I said that 365 times that it's in my word. And so, Father, I worship you and I thank you for it. Thank you for your goodness to us. And I thank you, Father. I pray, Lord, if there is anybody out there that's been dealing with fear of any kind, Father, I take authority over it right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak and I declare that fear is broken off of their life in the name of Jesus. And I speak peace. I speak peace to their mind, peace to their body, peace to their surroundings. And I thank you, Father. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to remind them of the promise of no fear because you're with them. You're with them. And I ask you for this in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. I love you guys, and I'm so thankful we don't have to be afraid. See you next time. Bye. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this lesson. We're so glad you watched. We know that God wants us to never be afraid because he is always with us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.